So today's video, I want to dive into my thoughts on what AI is currently available in these productivity apps. And I want to talk about more of the concept of, I guess, using them as well, but also how I rank them, how I actually think that they work currently. So let's rank these productivity apps based on the AI they've released so far. So what I'm talking about this is open AI technology that a lot of these apps have introduced. I don't think it's going to be necessarily the biggest thing since sliced bread, but I think it's on the way there. I think when we're thinking about AI, we have to think whether this is just an initial stage of a fad or whether it's going to become something that's incredibly useful in productivity tools. So I think this is a great starting point, but early days. So let's start with Notion. Now, Notion actually launched their AI a little bit earlier than I thought they would. I didn't think they would move this fast with AI. So they've introduced this generative AI technology that essentially allows you to be prompting, summarizing, translating, spelling and grammar, and improving um, your, your, your grammar as well, um, which is decent and but I was actually expecting a little bit more. I know it's in alpha, but I, I was expecting a little bit more than just that. Feels like the least of all of these that they've done, but I would still give it a B or a C rating. Now I've played around with the craft AI as well. And it, I would say again, is a B or a C. It's very similar to Notion in a way in what its output's like. Now, in terms of implementation, I personally think that packaged up craft is nicer in the way that they've done it. Um, but Notions is also nice, but also much more sort of early days. But I think when it comes to tables that Notion have done a better job, but I'm still giving both of these a B. Now, in terms of mem, I'm interested in how they've done this, but I'm going to give them an A. Now, I'm an investor in MEM, just to be clear, but the reason I'm giving them an A is because what they've done is they've weaved into the existing notes in there. I think it's a good job. I think it's a great job. Um, but I think what they've done is they've utilized some of the knowledge that's already in your MEMs. But a lot of people don't use MEM. So that's why I'm not giving it an amazing rating. Um, so their knowledge cannot be necessarily accessed for a brand new user who joins MEM unless they import all of their stuff. Who, uh, who I give a really cracking rating to is Coda. Can't see the, uh, the branding there. But Coda have done such a good job. What they've done is they've introduced it with the ability to create it inside of buttons and export it as well as with DALI 2. I feel like that's a solid integration in terms of its setup. So that really automatically helps people with the flexibility side. Todoist, I think their day is gonna come with AI when they introduce it with smart suggestions and abilities like that. So I feel like that task creator is good, but it's nothing too amazing. I'm gonna put it in a B, um, and that's where I'm gonna put it at the moment because I don't think it's really revolutionary and it's, introduction of it. Meanwhile, Catalog, I personally think is on par with Coda in terms of what they've done is you can create AI using um, basically like a brand new account. Um, you can basically create a workspace based on what a law firm should structure their account like. So I feel like theirs is the most useful at the moment with Coda in second place, Mem, and then Notion, Craft, and Todoist slowly following. So that is my rankings of the top guns at the moment. This is going to drastically do it different in a month's time. Um, AI is moving quite fast. It'll be interesting to see how it expands.